<laughs> Hello, folks. Welcome back to the Sea Morning Show right here on Sea Today. Now we are shift our focus to our first discussion of the day. Now, following the rise of digital platforms, gambling has become more accessible than ever. Now, for some, it can spiral into a serious problem that affects every aspect of lives, such as mental health, finances, and also relationship. Mm -hmm. The consequences can be devastating. And to know more about the impacts of online gambling and ways to treat online gambling addiction, we are now joined with a mental health specialist from the National Center for Mental Health um, at Dr. Ha Marsuki Mahdi. This is Dr. Prasetyawan. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Hello. Uh, good morning, doctor. Thank you so much for being here with us. So this is going to be... Because really right now, it's not only going viral, we know this has become an <laughs> issue, especially right here on the nation. So, doctor, for you yourself, how many patients that you have been treated now so far? We have treated uh, 20 persons. Okay. Uh, 10 of them um, problems, mixed problem with drugs. Okay. Yes. Oh. So, not only gambling, but so there are some. Two person uh, gambling disorder without drugs. Problems. Okay. Yeah. All okay, right. now uh, can you explain to us, doctor, um, what factors that may um, trigger this addiction? Yeah, uh, many reasons uh, mm -hmm. someone uh, gambling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Some of them uh, need money and they're gambling to get money in express way. Okay. And the others, uh, gambling uh, when they are lonely, no activities, mm. depressed or to get fun. Yeah. They're gambling and gambling again to get a winner. Okay. If they win, they will happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they will continue mm -hmm. gambling to get happiness. Yeah. Oh. But if they are losing, they are losing, yeah. uh, they are not happy. Mm -hmm. And they continue again to mm. get happiness, to get a win again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they are win or they are losing, mm -mm. they are continue gambling. Yeah. So, they are cycle, yeah. so Dr. Brasil, when in regards to that, can you share with us explicitly what is addiction actually? Because some people will like say, you know, I'm playing online gambling just because for the fun of it. But when it becomes addiction, I mean, mm -hmm. that's well, it becomes lethal to them. Yeah. Uh, we have a criteria mm -hmm. to, uh, to say someone have a Addiction. addiction. Okay. Or some, uh, someone has uh, a disorder. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, gambling, uh, uh, we call gambling disorder if someone has a problem mm -hmm. uh, with uh, uh, gambling, mm -hmm. addiction gambling. Uh, for example, uh, someone uh, with a gambling disorder, oh. they have a difficult for control, difficult uh, control their behavior. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the priority given to gambling disorder, yeah. and uh, they continue gambling even they know they have uh, negative consequences. Okay. And the other uh, criteria, uh, they are preoccupied, uh, mm -hmm. persistent thought about gambling, and after they are losing, yeah. uh, losing money gambling, they continue. Again. Because in their again. mind, they think they're going to win again, right? Yes. If I'll try mm. one more time, yes. then maybe I can maybe, win. Maybe, yes. Within the okay. okay, okay. Now, based on your experience, um, you have handled many patients. Um, what are the extreme cases of the gambling addiction? Yeah, uh, they have a marital problem. Mm -mm. Uh, they have a problem with the family, okay. a problem with their study, their job. Okay. And the other case, uh, they have problem with their healthy, mm -hmm. uh, their uh, personal hygiene, their oh, food. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Personal their hygiene. Sleep. Sleep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sleep patterns. Yeah, because. Well, they don't. They don't sleep. They don't eat. They yeah, have no breaks. All gambling. they just do is yeah. just gambling. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, and the I found a patient with uh, depressed. Okay. And have a uh, suicidal ideation. Okay. Wow. And suicidal attempt. Okay. Uh, Just because they do gamble, or yeah. it, it was it because they're yeah. losing, or yeah, when especially when they are losing, oh, they okay. want to die. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
because they feel like oh, my finances, I have no more money. Mm -hmm. Where yes. can I get mo uh, yeah. money? But then I still have the urgent yeah. needs for yeah. us to, you know, for them to. Keep Maybe up they have uh, money from the office, from right. yeah, from the others, and they can pay. They can. Right. Yeah. Okay. They can. So the psychological felt uh, the psychological effects from mm -hmm. online gambling. I mean, this doesn't have to, for you to be addicted, mm -hmm. but what does the psychological mind mm -hmm. and also you know a, a soul when someone you know play online gambling? What does it really affect to you, doctor? Yeah, uh, like I said before, mm -hmm. it can be uh, depressed, mm -hmm. uh, suicide uh, ideation, mm -hmm. suicide attempt, and maybe anxious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why do you think those online gambling makes you know that person can can be addicted? Other than the game itself, do you think mm -hmm. because of just how entertaining it is, how attractive are the online gamblings? That I mean, there's numerous sites right now for mm -hmm. the online gambling. What do you think, in your opinion, that makes the people other than the psychological behavior that makes them so attractive to play all the time? Even though let's say they know that they don't have any more funds, they know that. It, you know, it's breaking their bonds between mm. husband and wife, between parents and children because they, you know, gamble. Sorry. Yeah. So, um, what do you think, doctor, yeah. that is the factor other than the gambling itself? I mean, other than playing the oh, gambling, yeah. the behavior. Maybe uh, the easiness, the easy okay. uh, to, to play, to gambling. Yeah. Because now with, with online, okay. someone like uh, we open the social media yeah. and then uh, we get uh, the client. The access. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you the just tap in. Very easy. Uh, yeah. uh, I see. Every time, everywhere. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. Okay, so you have access to online gambling every time, yeah, everywhere. Access is very easy. Yeah. That's right. Okay, now um, can you please tell us, can you cure uh, this addiction? Or if somebody out there, maybe they, they tend to play not not addicted yet, but they're like they're spending too much time on online gambling or um, uh, yeah, they're just woo. <laughs> no, trying they're, to eat so, off. yeah, trying yeah. to trying to have fun. Now, can you tell us? Can you, we cure this, or are there are there any distractions that we can use? Yeah, uh, some uh, patient come with a different problem. Mm -hmm. gambling, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Maybe they are only impatient if they have problem with uh, marital conflict uh, due to the gambling disorder. Mm -hmm. But some of them uh, hospitalization, yeah, okay. maybe uh, have a mm -hmm. more uh, problem. Yeah. Okay. So what we uh, we, we treat is uh, it's a behavior addiction. Mm -hmm. So we try to change uh, the behavior. The behavior yeah. first. Okay. For example, we can give uh, cognitive behavior therapy to change their cognitive and their behavior. Mm -hmm. So someone with a gambling disorder usually have uh, irrational beliefs, so they have uh, negative consequences. Uh, someone with rational uh, belief mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, have uh, positive consequences. So we change their thought and their behavior. Oh, so okay. from gambling disorder to stop Mm -hmm. and change with uh, the other positive activities. Yeah. Okay. And Dr. Pasiatrawan, do you think that someone, I mean, you've already managed like 20 cases, you know, throughout, you know, for someone that is addicted to online gambling, and you were mentioning before, there are some patients of yours that actually have other addiction. So if people that has other addiction, is it much more easier for them to adapt to another addiction, such as online gambling? You were saying before, you know, you have a patient that has had a drug addiction, so it's very more easy for them to kind of develop another addiction. I think all of them is difficult. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we should uh, see uh, one by one. Mm -hmm. um, case by case. Uh, case by case, yeah. Okay. It's an individual approach. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Not only a different kind of addiction, mm -hmm. but a different person have a Different, yeah. different approach. So it doesn't necessarily someone that has addiction before. It doesn't have to be drugs. It could be smoking addiction mm -hmm. or so, you know another type of addiction. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily think you know you are going to jump into the pool of online gambling. Yeah. Now, what is the characteristic for mm -hmm. online gambling, Doctor Pastiawan? Can well, maybe we see you know a loved one or maybe a colleague, a friend that we see? Maybe I think this person is going to that. You know, going to that hole to be going to be addicted to online gambling. What are the characteristics that we have to watch out? 
Yeah, uh, they have a preoccupied, okay. persistent thought about gambling, mm -hmm. uh, and they uh, priority for the addiction. Yes, uh, and they uh, again uh, with the same behavior, even they have uh, negative consequences. Lack of social okay. behavior, maybe. Lack of social, like he doesn't, yes, yes. that person doesn't yes. talk anymore, yeah. likes uh, to be on their gadget. Yeah, the just time. in the room. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah. we have to watch out for that. Yeah. yeah. Now, how can we help them? The first thing that we need to do if um, we see someone with uh, this addiction. If uh, go to the professional, mm -hmm. yes. Or if they need uh, inpatient, uh, inpatient mm -hmm. they maybe can go to recovery center. Okay. Uh, I, Okay. And sometimes we know that addiction is very long to be cured, as mm -hmm. you said. Yeah. So if one is going to a rehabilitation, yeah. how long is the time for you to be, or like until yeah. the doctor said you yeah. are okay now and you can go back yeah. to your daily yeah. lives? Yeah. The center have a difference how long to hospitalization. Mm -hmm. One center maybe only one week, the other center 28 days. Mm. Yes. Uh, I have come to the center. Mm -hmm. They have um, choose how many times you stay in uh, center. Mm. In center uh, usually 28 days, but in uh, Bogor, Marizuki Mental Hospital, you treat for three months. Okay, three yeah. months. Three months. Okay, yeah. staying there. Staying there. Okay. Yeah. Three months without gambling. Yeah. <laughs> how is it for the patient? I mean, because we know that sometimes it takes a lot of them, right? Mm. And usually the one that takes them to their rehabilitation, mm. usually not themselves knocking on the door of the hospital, mm. is probably the wife or the husband or the family that take this addiction person mm -hmm. to the hospital to want them to make feel better. Mm -hmm. Usually how long like, you can see the changes in them. And how should a family feel when you see like someone is addicted at your family, like your loved one? Yeah. A person with addict, uh, gambling disorder mm. maybe come uh, with the family. The family asks to him to go to the center. Of course, yes. Yeah. But the other case, uh, the person maybe. wants, yes. Uh -uh. We have a case that the person needs uh, to stay in the recovery center. Yeah. Mm. And to change uh, is a, you know, uh, behavior yeah, the, the behavior change is uh, state by state. Uh, you have, uh, mm -hmm. like, you maybe you ever heard pre-contemplation, contemplation, something yes. like that. Uh, okay. So we keep a motivation for them to, to change their behavior. Mm -hmm. So they have a preparation to stop and they have an action to stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, so will they relapse sometime in the future? Yes, relapse uh, is a... Uh, Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a characteristic in okay. addiction. Okay. So we should think about relapse. Mm -hmm. So relapse prevention program is very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so what can the family do to make the environment more safe, especially for those that already went to the hospital, went mm -hmm. to the rehabilitation? Mm -hmm. We don't want our loved ones to relapse again, as you mentioned and also mm -hmm. mentioned yeah. by Shahnaz. So how we can you know, make the environment safe and also, you know, a peaceful one for them, so they're not, you know, mm. urged to go online gambling again. Yeah, what the family do is uh, they can help to support them to stop. Mm -hmm. Like uh, they know about uh, what is the trigger usually to make uh, right. the family member uh, to, 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 be the yeah, to be addicted. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like maybe uh, they will uh, make a good communication okay. if they have a problem, something like that. So trust, okay. good communication, yes. no gadgets if you can. <laughs> ah, it's difficult to get. <laughs> we're trying to. Yeah. No. Yeah. But we're trying as best as I can, yes. right, to make the environment safe for yeah, good. those of uh, you know, right. for those of you who wants to be, you know, healthy and have a good life again. To the yes. Future. Of course. Terima kasih banyak. Thank you, Doctor, yeah, sama, uh, for sama. sharing with yeah. us. Yeah. We're here for being with us. Yes. Now, yeah. Uh, let's hope that. Those of you out there that are looking for some help, please do seek help, seek professional help right. if you feel like you spend too much time online, mm -hmm. like me. <laughs> Not gambling, no. for sure, yes. but online. Yeah, <laughs> and there's always a cure for everything, right? Yeah. As long as you put your mind and your heart set onto it. Yes, now speaking of setting, we are set for a commercial break now. When we return, um, we'll bring you the world headlines, so stay with us on the Sea Morning Show.